take you through KCC project that is computer studies project that uh, was uh, undertaken in the year 2013. Therefore, the title of the project is Masomobora School Examination System. Therefore, basically, it is an examination system. That is uh, where I want you to emphasize. Therefore, Masomobora is a secondary school that offers the 844 curriculum of education. Each class in the school has two streams. Every time the school offers uh, three, it offers three examinations referred as opener, uh, midterm, midterm, and editor. For each examination, the total score for each student is computed for all subjects taken. At the end of the term, the students are ranked based on the average of their totals that is in the three examination. Then all students in Form 1 and Form 2 take uh, 11 subjects. Then while Form 3 and 4 take uh, 8 subjects. Then from there, the school awards the best performing students at each uh, at the end of every term, the top three students in each class are awarded book watchers, as shown. Uh, position one, two, three, form two. Uh, they have this position, then the amount increases as you go down. Therefore, the form fours are given much. Then the most improved student in each class is awarded a batch and a book watcher, value equivalent to the second best. Then uh, the next thing you need to know is to determine the most improved uh, student, the difference between opener and midterm totals and midterm and editor are considered. Then uh, at the end of each term, each student is issued with a report form for the three examination uh, to take to their guardians. Therefore, if somebody scores an average below 40, they go for remedial uh, classes. They go for remedial classes. At the end of the year, students with the highest annual uh, average score for the year in Form 1, Form 2, uh, have their fees waived. Therefore, their fees are waived. Therefore, this is what I want us to see. Develop a well-documented computer system to capture the appropriate data perform uh, computations, generate class list, uh, report form, a list, a list of students who are awarded a book voucher, uh, badges, etc. Therefore, these are our objectives. Therefore, we shall develop a computer system to produce report forms, class list, merit sheets, uh, etc. Therefore, we shall start from scratch. Therefore, the best uh, the first thing is to launch Microsoft Access. Uh, then, after launching, we save our database as Masomobora, MIS. Uh, then, after doing so, uh, we start by uh, creating the tables that are required. The first table uh, will be class. Therefore, we shall have uh, class ID. This one can be auto number. And then we shall have now class name. Class name. Therefore, class name, we can leave it the way it is. Then you can save this one as classes. Then, if for example, we have class form 1, form 2, form 3, then we have uh, form 4. Those are the classes. Uh, first of all, we need to have the number and the stream. Therefore, we shall have another field here uh, called stream. Therefore, this one should be number, then stream. Therefore, if we shall have form 1, stream we can have north, 
we can have uh, south we can have east we can have west therefore that is the first table uh, the first table will have the uh, those we we'll have those ones therefore this is our first table this one this is whatever you needed to capture then after having that one you now need to go and uh, create another table now this table will be the exams table therefore you can have uh, exam admission number exam admission admission number this one is number and primary key then you shall have the uh, class e class then e stream e now will ident used to be identified the, the exam table therefore this one is number now this is uh, number number remember then you shall have the serial number as the number this one should be the one that will be primary key therefore this one here will be the foreign key this one will be the primary key then from there we shall have the subjects uh, maths we shall have math math one math two math three math average then math grade Therefore, this one should be repeated for all subject English 1, English 2, English 3, English average, English, English great. Then you go to Kisohe Hiri 1, Kisohe 2, Kisohe. Kisohiri uh, average, then Kiso great. Therefore, this one will be repeated for all uh, other subjects. But remember, all of this is uh, they should be number apart from the grade. No, no, no. This one should be uh, short text. The others should be number, 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 number. This should be number, then number, 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 short text. Remember the data type uh, is very important. Then uh, this one should be done for all uh, subjects, like 11 of them. Then after doing that one, we call this one as exams. Therefore, we have a table called exams. Then we create another table, assign the view. Now this is for the student. Uh, this one should have the the student admission number now this one should be the primary key this one should be number and the primary key then we have student name uh, student class student stream this one is uh, number this one is number then we shall have a uh, term uh -huh. Then we shall have uh, year, student year. This is number. Then we shall have now the uh, we have been told that form three take eight subject, the others eleven. Therefore, we must have a subject uh, serialization. We can have subject one, subject two, subject three, subject four, subject five, subject six subject 7 subject 8 subject 9 subject 10 subject 11 therefore you can have that one then this one should be yes no because student must choose subjects therefore you have to filter the subjects then after doing that uh, i think that one is almost complete term here class that one is complete the it is we can add any other details later therefore this is students then we go back to k 
creating a table for terms you can now you can say term id so it can be auto number and the primary key then you have term that way then this is terms we can run that one then you have term one term two term three therefore that is for the terms then we can go back to exams table design view and add uh, term we have we can insert a field we have e term then we can insert another one insert we have e e year we have exam year that is number number then after now doing so we need to complete uh, the subjects therefore uh, after now assigning all the subjects uh, remember all the subjects should be three three therefore the one with one is for opener the one with the two is for midterm the one in three is at term then we have the average of the three then we have the grade or the way therefore that's how you do for all subjects choose your best 11 subjects of which from these and four you choose eight from there therefore then uh, at the end you also uh, need to have included these ones uh, that is uh, you include the total that is total for one total for two total for three and then average because they are actually three uh, exams therefore after now doing so you have the required tables but um, you can still add small tables like you can add table for subjects uh, table for uh, awards uh, that is table for awards the, the voucher values you can add it here but basically uh, the most important tables are exams and uh, and uh, student. Therefore, we proceed to the next step after uh, creating the table. This way, the way it is, uh, we need to create a query. Therefore, you go to create, then you go to query uh, design. Uh, we are including exams and students. Therefore, these are the two fields. Therefore, this is the parent table and uh, the, the, this one is the child table. Therefore, you can pull this way so that you can see all the fields. Therefore, uh, we can now start dropping the fields. You just drop the fields from one table first so that you can be in a position to be accurate. You just drop them by seven. When, once you double click them they are, are, are they are supposed to arrange themselves then we can go to the child table we drop the feeds yeah only patience is required for you to be in a position to uh, drop the feeds you just drop them And just be careful to avoid dropping twice. It can bring a lot of problems. Therefore, we continue doing that. Uh -huh, we drop. Before you continue dropping these ones until you drop the last one yeah good then from there uh, you can save this one as can you call it master okay after now doing so uh, you can see we have our query our query now 
combines the two tables. But so far, we have not yet inserted, uh, uh, that is, we have not inserted the data, that is the student uh, details. We shall do that. Then, after now having this one, you need to make a relationship by creating joints, by instructing the system that um, this one, the E admission number, E stands for the exam, uh, S, S here stands for students, therefore student admission number, then you shall have the, the E, E for exam. Therefore, uh, this is the parent table, and therefore we shall make a join by dragging this to the parent table, then double click and instruct uh, Microsoft Access that include all records from students to exams, because this is the parent table, should it break it, data to the other one. Then uh, the term should also have the same. The term will be duplicated, students to exams. Then the year also. The year again is also another important aspect here. All records from the parent should be duplicated to the uh, table. Then we shall have the class. The class to e class again all records from student from mother table that is from a parent to the child then we shall have the stream again the last one the stream should also or data from the parent to the child therefore that's the way it should be and um, when we insert data data will be now uh, as we key in the marks the max will be duplicated. Therefore, that is the, the first main and very important concept. Then we need to create update queries to update term from term one to term two. Then uh, from then from uh, uh, term the other term to the other term. Therefore, we shall uh, create. Uh, we shall create now the uh, the update queries from here. Therefore, first of all, to create an update query, you need to know what we are updating and proceed by creating the update queries to enable us to update the term and the year and the class. Therefore, those are the important ones. Therefore, to do that, you can create a query, then go to uh, query design. We are using the mother table to do that. Therefore, what and what are we supposed to uh, to update? We need to update the, like now we can start with the class. Therefore, if you are updating the class, you just go now to uh, where update query is. We are creating an update query, therefore here, uh, there we are. Therefore you click on update query, then you will notice uh, there is a field. There is a field that has been added here called update to. Therefore update to, we shall just say that it is uh, S class. It is S class, that is that field, plus one plus one. That means uh, that is equals to that one. That means if class was one, it is one plus one. Therefore that is uh, update classes. Therefore you have created one update query, this one. You see now the difference between the even the shapes of the query. This is a select query, whereas now this one uh, this one is uh, an update query. They are different. Then we proceed at the create for updating the year. If I go to create query design, we are still using the same. Then we go to, we are now updating the year. If I go to S year, then go to update, update to, did it become S year, S year plus 
one plus one therefore we save that one as update here that is for update here then remember uh, should be close remember we can also update the year and uh, require to update it downwards therefore we can still uh, copy this we right click and paste then you can call it uh, update classes that is update I have copied the wrong one we are updating the year we copy we paste then update year downwards you may want to see report form for 2018 and you are in 2020 so you can uh, down Great. That is, you go to design view. This one becomes year minus one now. Then uh, we go and create the last update query. That is for uh, updating the term. Therefore, you go create query design. You use the parent table only. Then you, you have the term. Now, this one we shall have several. Then we go to update. Update term one. Term one just like that you save that is set to term one uh, now you only need to copy that one copy that one then paste and for this one will be set to term two set term two then set term two you right click go to design view now you just change one to two therefore it is set term two then I uh, can paste it again. This is uh, set to term three. Set term three. Then set term three. I right click. I go to design view. I change one to three. Therefore, when I run, it will actually uh, uh, that is update whichever term it is to uh, the next term. Then from there, we first of all feed the data. Once I feed the data, we can now proceed to class lists. Okay, after now feeding the data, we need to proceed to where we have stopped. We have stopped at creating the update queries. Therefore, we shall now produce class lists. Therefore, class lists will be from this data available here. Therefore, we cross this table. Then we go to, first of all, we go to classes. We can change this one to B and M. B, B, M. We have B and M. That is the classes that are here. And we are in term one, 2020. Therefore, these are the subject select selectors where a student will choose a certain subject. Then the subject will correlate with uh, uh, this one's math uh, that way. Then after doing so, let's create class list. Then we shall go to create. Then we go to query design. We shall use the mother table because this is the updated one. Then we are now creating the class list. Class list should have the admission number, student uh, name. Uh, first of all, should have class should have class string uh, student name term and the year and the year those are the details that we need then we, we can save that one as uh, class list we save that one then we can run and see what happens therefore you can you can see it's working you can just remove this one now these are the class list but uh, we have one challenge it is giving class list for 124 that is the whole school but uh, we want class list for specific class therefore we shall introduce something called the query filter and therefore we just go to design view of the query then uh, what we need to do is to uh, use this section here criteria this is a section that I reiterate and therefore 
but I just go to where uh, where the the class is where the stream is this is where I will actually uh, work on therefore I'll go to class then on criteria I type enter enter class I can enter student class then I uh, go to enter the stream that way then you now run your query therefore when you run your query uh, you get that uh, you get that it is actually uh, asking you it is actually asking you uh, to enter the class here this is where you enter your class up here then I can enter something like form 4 then I click OK then you can see the next thing it will ask you to enter the stream therefore the stream is B then I click OK now see what happens uh, the, the query will only display the query will only display the students uh, who come from form 4B only that is now the class list for form 4B therefore if you go to design v and run again enter class I want form 1 I press enter B it will only produce uh, class list for uh, for for 1B that is for only for uh, form 1B that is class and stream therefore that's how you create a class list by use of filters therefore we have already done uh, we are done with the class list you just need to click then it will ask you enter class form 3 uh, m it will produce form 3 m only then after now having created the class list um, if you look at our objectives at least uh, so far we are in a position to uh, we can talk of we can talk of um, some of the achieved objectives we have achieved uh, this one we can uh, just develop a well documented computer system to capture the data we have achieved that one we have now achieved this one also therefore so far those are done then uh, shortly we shall also uh, achieve all of the computations that is max average uh, etc then we can proceed on and um, look at uh, uh, this query of ours the, the that is the the master we look at see how master looks like now this remember this is our our main query therefore when I run you see it is combining the the feeds that is it is combining the feeds of the two uh, main tables that we shall use that is the exam and the student we can also include a field for fees uh, we can include a field for fees or a table for fees that is I just go to uh, uh, this one then include the fees so that we can capture the fees that is waived if we can have fees 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 is currency just for the purpose of waiving the fees therefore we shall also have that one we can drop it in our master because we have added it can add fees so that at least it can be available in the in the capture form that is uh, uh, some of the important concepts that we need then from here we need to create a main form where student registration will be taking place if we we'll go to create then we shall go to 
form design then uh, we can right click then go to form header and footer we need to include the form header and footer then where do we get our data we go to design then we go to property sheet then we go to record source this is where we are getting data we are getting data from our master query master once you click on that we have used this one then go to this one you can now see all your data therefore for registration purposes we shall have the the admission number then we shall also have the student name the student name here then we shall, we shall also have the class the student class we shall also have the stream the stream in which the student is I will be joining this one should be smaller they only include one one, one digit so they should be very small then which term is this student joining in we shall have the term then uh, year which year is this student uh, joining in therefore this one can be used to capture the students details then we can just save this one as registration registration but we may also need to capture the student photo therefore you cross this one we go back to student uh, table we can include photo photo there and this time around we use attachment so uh, when we go to registration form we right click go to design view uh, we can add that field photo Okay, it is not yet added in our master query. Therefore, you cross this, go to master query, and drop that field. This one should be dropped so that it can appear in. When I go back to my form, then I can now see that that's the last one. If I can now bring it here, and remove the label, then we shall have our student photo there for required size then after doing so you can change the color of this by dragging the mouse then go to format you can change that one you can make it bold you can also change the, the font size or the font style that way then go down and pull this one you pull until where the, the photo is that way now we need to have the head as here go to design take the ribbon and then you can draw the ribbon this is the uh, admission number student name uh, for class Term. Yeah. Then we have the photo. That way. Then you can also make this one attractive format. Uh, give it some color. That way. Then after doing that, we have the heading here. Go to design, take the label, and then we can draw our heading. That is. Masomo Bora Masomo Bora School Exam Examination System Then click outside then inside go again to format uh, Choose a bigger uh, That is a bigger font You can have that one and then bold Bold we can also have the logo of the school here the logo is an image therefore you just go to design then uh, you can take the image the image uh, tool 
draw it will take you to where the images are like now i can use this one as my logo that way then after doing that one you can now format this one by assigning some color like, uh, that is the form back we choose some color like that then after now doing this we can see for so far what we have therefore this is what we have but we have 124 students but i can only see one therefore i need to make this form continuous by right clicking then going to design view then go to property sheet uh, at this point i choose form then always remember when you are data you are in data you change this data set data set is the results of the query you change you change to data set in the consistence updates should be like that then now we go to or uh, we scroll up here default view we are seeing a single form but we need continuous so that we can see all students therefore you change the default view to continuous then you save your work and close this one now you can see i can see all my students but still we have a challenge that uh, these students are mixed up we need we see their form threes their form fours we need a specific class that means we have to create a query like we have like we have done in class list for this form specifically therefore you close this form you close this form and do that we go back to uh, this query master this is where our data is coming from therefore we copy this query uh, we paste it after pasting it we can call it registration then uh, once you have registration this one you right click you go to design view uh, this is our registration which is a copy of the master we filter we go to filter s class here we want it to filter class therefore enter enter class then stream we filter the stream enter stream that way should be like that so that uh, so that uh, when if i want to feed form 3b i should not get from the form 3m students therefore uh, after now having this i need to tell this form that your data is coming from registration therefore you go to design view then go to property sheet this time around you change the record source from master to registration therefore i go to registration then save when now i cross it will ask me something therefore the first thing when i launch this form it will ask me the class i want to feed form 3 m therefore it will only produce 15 students 15 students from the m they are only 15 and you cannot see any other student from any other class they are only in from the m then from here now i can uh, work i can feed the photos if for example i need the photo I can just now come in and and uh, and feed the photo of the student that way yeah like, like you have seen me doing it therefore you can do the same thing that way and photos will now be inserted in this registration capture form but uh, you have seen that uh, it is a very accurate one because it is actually a filter if like, like now i want to enter form 1 m it will only bring form 1 m students for uh, capturing uh, for capturing purposes therefore in our next video i will be doing the main uh, max capturing system whereby we shall uh, write a form that will be used to capture the uh, it will be used to capture the, the max and compute them therefore since we created the class list we can create a full class list by going to create then we go to report design remember to view my video on how to create reports in design view there is a video purely for that
therefore click on the port uh, design this is how it looks like then I instruct this report where to get data therefore this report will be getting data from this query therefore you go to property sheet then I choose report at this juncture then record source here I'm getting it from class lists so when I cross and see this one you can call it class lists that way therefore I can now uh, assign my data here we have gone to this now we use the the add existing feeds therefore I just come to this point uh, I, I cut the the label and arrange that one there then we shall have the student name student name should be next then we shall have a class class then stream uh, we can have the term here you can have the term and the year This one's up there. Therefore, then I save that one. Uh, the last thing I need to do is to pull this one upwards. To pull this one upwards up to that point should look like that. Then I save that one. Therefore, you can see also format this one to uh, give it karabrak for visibility purposes and we can still rearrange this one because someone may have a wrong name then go to design and uh, write the label the label is here this is a dimension number student name stream we still format this one to be nice format we go to give it black color that way then uh, you can still do this one to that you can still give it uh, smart color then we now write the heading here you can use the label to write the heading the heading this one is masomo Bora, some of Bora examination system class list, class list. Then I increase the font size by going to something of the sort, give it some color. You can still give it uh, a logo. You can assign the row here again just by going to design then you take the the image uh, then we are using that image as our row that way then after doing that now our class list is complete we can cross it then this is our class list is a form therefore when i click it will ask me for class 3m very good Therefore, that is a class list. You see now, the class list for 3M is complete, and you can just send to the printer. You can just send this one to the printer by going to fire, then print, and it will be printed. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if I again I need class list for form 4, I just click then form 4M, then I will get uh, form 4M class list here. But still, you can edit this one to look smarter by, by avoiding these two. You can avoid having class as a here. Instead, the class appears. 
class up here, see here. It will lead for M, then probably this one can be uh, assigned there. Therefore, that one should even be smarter. Therefore, when I click form 3M, you see now that one is even better. We shall have now 3M uh, uh, displayed there. But still, you can opt to have these ones here and be bigger. Uh, sign this one something big like 16 something big like 16 therefore let's see what we have we save that one and then cross open and save 3 b very good therefore you can see now we have produced a class list that uh, can be uh, well managed and uh, can be used therefore uh, Keep on watching for the next video so that um, you can be in a position to see how calculations of marks, how marks will be entered and being captured on this uh, exams table and how we shall now be manipulating uh, other things. But meanwhile, before I exit on this part one, uh, it's important uh, you see uh, something how the update queries work. Now we have in term one form 3M. Now we are in term one. If you are keen enough, you can see we are in term one, 2020. Therefore, I want to up, uh, update this one to term two. Therefore, what I need to do is just to double click term two this way. Therefore, you can see this. You are about to run action query, yes. Therefore, you are about to update 124, yes. Therefore, when now I come to this uh, form 3B, M for example, you see now we are in term 2. We have now updated that one to term 2. And if you open the, the master query or the student, you will get that every student has been taken to term 2. Uh, to term 2. Therefore, every student is now in term two. Therefore, you can see that one is actually, uh, it is actually working. Therefore, you can also test whether the year, you can see we are in year, we are in year uh, 2020. Therefore, let's see whether it is really updating. We go to update year. Uh -huh. Okay, you see now this one, if you get an error parameter, this means there is either misspelling mistake or a missing value. Therefore, let's go and see. We fix that one, go to design view, then see what happens. S here. It is S here plus one. Therefore, you can see the mistake. It should be that way plus one. One should be outside. Therefore, when now I run, it will really work. Therefore, when we open like a class list from 4M, you see from 4M, uh, we, are, we have now updated to uh, term 2, uh, we have uh, year 2021. Well, that means it's working. But uh, we also made this one, that uh, you see that we have still the same error. We can still fix that one. Bracket should be there. Therefore, we want to, to take back to 2020. Um, we run that one. Therefore, that everybody now is in 2020. We have returned back to 2020. Then we also return to term one. Uh, you press a five to refresh on your keyboard, and then you see that the update queries are working smoothly. Therefore, thank you very much for watching this Masamobora part one. Uh, watch out for part two, which will be very interesting. And uh, then we can agree on... Uh